We are celebrating Wednesday of the third week of our holy season of Advent. And uh, right now we are in the midst of celebrating what the church liturgically calls the O Antiphons. And what that means is that for the nine days, beginning with last Monday, the 17th, right on up to Christmas Eve, uh, the gospel acclamation begins with uh, an, uh, a, a term of praise for our Lord Jesus using one of the titles that either the Old Testament prophets or uh, he himself took to himself uh, when he revealed himself as the promised Messiah during his public life on earth. And so, for instance, one uh, of the gospel acclamations will be, O wisdom from on high, or O day star, or the day spring. Well, all of these uh, are biblical expressions uh, coming from uh, mainly the Old Testament uh, books of the prophets or the wisdom literature of the Old Testament, all using these terms to describe who the promised Messiah will be. And in the process, helping the people understand better not only who is this Messiah, but what will the Messiah promised by Almighty God to Adam and Eve, what will he do uh, not just for them, but for all of mankind and for the world itself? And that, of course, is to dispel the darkness of sin uh, and to, in a certain sense, burst into created time and the world itself as the eternal light, the day star, if you will, of Almighty God. And uh, a good way to, in a sense, enter more deeply into the final days of Advent is to just read the gospel acclamations for each of these days, starting with uh, December 17th, and then meditate on each of those O antiphons as a describing term for Jesus himself. It helps us appreciate even more, not just what the incarnation of God as man is, but why God chose to become one of us in order to rescue us, redeem us from what we had done to ourselves in the persons of our first parents, Adam and Eve. So please continue your admin prayer and preparation for the Feast of Christmas and enjoy these final days of Advent as a, a gift from God to each of us to grow in our love and appreciation for the Lord Jesus as our Savior in time and for eternity.